You're watching the News Channel 12 Network. You know, Ronte, there's something that I've noticed about the weather, especially, mm -hmm. especially the colder months in, uh, from November all the way through to the first part of March. At night, when we have clear skies, that's when it seems to be the coldest, mm. as opposed to when we have cloud cover. Could you tell us, could you tell me and the people at home a little bit about that? Well, you know, I mean, I guess that's just how Mother Nature is. You know, that that's just how Mother Nature is. A lot of times with uh, some of the temperatures out there, normally uh, with some of the temperatures out there, when it's get hard, uh, very hard freezing temperatures out there, uh, there's normally precip. Uh, on the ground. Now, in this case, it's nor this is not bad at all. This is not bad at all. We've okay. seen we have seen worse uh, than this. We've seen uh, temperatures at negative nine. Uh, I mean, we've seen temperatures really bad. So this is nothing to compare uh, to 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 way back when. Uh, so, but to your question, why does why do we have the coldest temperatures uh, when it's clear skies outside? That would be have to do with something Mother Nature. I mean, she just she's very picky. <laughs> so it's almost like the clouds are insulation holding heat in. Almost. Mm -hmm. And uh, in my opinions, I, I mean, I love it. I, I love to see the clear skies out there. I like to be a little chilly outside. Not too chilly, but I do like to be chilly outside. Um, but for all of you view uh, viewers out there that was wanting to know that, uh, there is your answer. And um, it pretty much, as I was saying, that's just how Mother Nature is. We don't know what Mother Nature is going to do the next day. Uh, all we all we do is predict the weather uh, where you see behind us here on the green screen here, uh, and we just talk it out. Okay. And, you know, something else is that's really on my mind What's is that? this uh, lawsuit between the U.S. women's soccer team and the yeah, U.S. Yeah, what's going on about that? I was, I, I was reading some of that about earlier today before I got in this morning in the studio. Well, apparently... Um, some time back ago, I'm not exactly sure on the date, yeah. so I'm not going to stand up here and misrepresent information. Yeah, we but, don't want to give uh, fake news out there. Yeah, exactly. We'll leave that to CNN. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> but um, from, from what I can gather, <laughs> the women's soccer team, compared to the men's soccer team, suffer from uh, discrimination simply because of their sex. Wow. They do not make as much money. Really? And in a lot of instances, the women play harder than the men. Wow. I mean, it's kind of like in... Um, well, for example, if you have a male soccer player who, let's say he twists his ankle or gets a high ankle uh -huh. sprain during a game. yeah. He will come out and a replacement will go in. Mm -hmm. And if you watch soccer and you pay attention to what happens during the women's games, these women will play through twisted ankles, sprains, muscle pulls, yeah. broken bones, and they're making less than what the men are making. Really? Wow. Yes. I, you know, I always thought that the, uh, the, the, the men were making more money and playing harder than what the women do. See, I, I mean, I was reading it a little bit earlier, uh, but I'm glad to hear the story from you a little bit because it actually makes a little bit more sense. But uh, I always thought that the men would, were making more money and playing harder than what the women were. No, in most instances, it's the women because sports is a male-dominated category of life. Yeah. You know, just... Recently, within the last 10 years, we've seen only one female NFL official uh -huh. on the field. Right. Um, so women, and uh, they're getting into sports broadcasting now. There's yeah. women on. There's women on the sports broadcasting team, so bravo to the women out there. They're yeah. finally breaking into something uh -huh. that I think they should have been in for a long time now. Yeah. And to see that this sexual discrimination is going on still today. I mean, this is 2020. Yeah. And they're still fighting the same battle that they started fighting back in 1959. Yeah, it's been going on for a long time now. It's been going it on has. for a long time. You still see it today. And I think it's... It's just a conflict of ego. Yeah. 
You know, that's what it is. The men are like, oh, we play the sports. We're the most dominant. And mm-hmm. then when a woman shows up and does the job just as well, if not better than the man. Exactly. They try to find a way to hold them down. Either their sex or the way they look. Mm-mm. Uh, their hairstyle, anything they can use against a woman, they will. And see that that shouldn't be that shouldn't be the case at all. That's no, just, I completely agree. That That's... shouldn't be the case. I mean, everybody everybody should have the choice of what they want. You know, they always say. I think they say, always say that uh, women can't vote now. Or that women can't vote, but I think can they? I think they're able to vote now. Women have been able to vote for a long time. They fought. They started fighting for women's suffrage, which uh-huh. is the right for women to vote. Yeah, back in the. Well, back in Manifest Destiny, when the country was expanding west right, and starting to grow as a nation, mm-hmm. when we had the wars with the Native American tribes out west on the plains and moving into California and in California becoming a state, yeah. even back then, women started fighting for the right to vote uh-huh. and the right to be heard. They didn't get that until sometime in the 1900s, I want to say probably around the 30s or 40s. Wow. They finally get the right to vote. And it's been that way since the, be- since the beginning of time. And the situation is not going to get any better until we come to realize that we all got here the same way. And that women should be treated just as fairly and just as equal as the men because, well, let's face it, if it wasn't for a woman, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, that is very true. It takes two. Yes, it, it takes does. two. <laughs> All right. Well, on the well, on weather wise, uh, we, we're we're watching a couple of things here uh, next week. Uh, we've got a very active weather pattern that's going to be going on next week. Uh, we're going to be tracking our next weather maker that'll be moving through next week. We're going to be talking about a little bit of rain in the forecast for next week. Uh, so it's more gonna, rain. Oh yeah, boy, it's going to be a soggy start to the week. But we are watching the chance for some more flurries. Uh, towards the middle of the week, so that's something. That groundhog lie. Yeah, so we're going to be watching for a few flurries next week. Uh, I don't think it'll be a, a, a huge impact uh, with uh, the morning commute or anything like that. But that's something we'll continue to uh, continue to keep you monitored and continue to keep you updated. So we're going to watch for our next weather maker uh, for next week. So it's going to be a wet one out there to start the week. Then we're going to watch for a few uh, flurries out there for next week. And temperatures are going to be very cold there too so uh temperatures are going up down it's like you ever heard that song roller coaster yeah what roller coaster Coaster. what's that (laughs) (laughs) so uh but yeah big roller coaster is what the weather is doing so i mean well when can we expect to see some warming trends come in i mean spring is supposed to be right around the corner uh, i think you know i know everybody i mean i've had so many people that have been texting me saying laurente i need warm weather you're the weatherman you're supposed to make warm weather happen (laughs) everybody's just i mean man i do i've been getting some steps in lately trying to just track in this weather so i mean it's going to be it's going to be crazy out there and like i said hopefully we can get some good warm weather in here soon hopefully I mean, I'm hoping and praying we get some warm weather here soon. But for now, for now, we've got to deal with some cold weather. Okay. Well, that'll do it for everybody here at News Channel 12. I'm Robert Dobbs. And I'm Laurente Barbie. Enjoy your evening and stay tuned for more news, weather, and sports. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 9.